Hello and welcome back to Board Game Acrobat where today we're going to learn how to play Love Letter. Alright, let's get right in shall we? So, what are you going to want to do to start with? Kind of simple, get it all out of the bag or box depending on which version you've got. Um, so all of my friends call these little meat cubes, just just because of the colour basically. So if you get all of them out, now this is a game for two to four players, so depending on how many people are playing, give each player one of these, which on one side it has how many cards there are, and on the other side it has a short tutorial on how to play the game, which is very useful. So I'll show you three people, but it's exactly the same whether you've got two, three or four. Put that there. Next thing you're going to do, ah, that's a lie. Slightly different for two people, but I will explain that um, after I've done this. So you're going to shuffle up all of these cards together. Put them in the centre of the room where everyone is able to reach them. Then you're going to take the top card and put it back without anyone seeing it, back into the bag, as that won't be played with in this game. So no one's allowed to know that one. So if you're playing two player, you still discard one card without looking at it, and then you take the top three cards from the deck and place them face up to the side so each player can see it. But these will not be used during the game. Other than that, everything else is the same. Okay, then you deal one card to every player. And as it states on this card, whoever most recently went on a date goes first. So that is how you set up for Love Letter. Next, let's have a look at gameplay. So on your turn, quite simple, what you do is you pick up a card, so you have two cards in your hand while well, everyone else only has one, as you can see. <clears throat> and then you're going to pick between the two cards and decide which one you want to play. Now say I played the guard, I put it face up so everyone can see it, and then use its ability. And that is the end of your turn. So then, after you've made your turn, play goes to the next player and they do what this, they repeat what I just explained. So they'll pick up a card, look at both cards in their hand, decide which one they want to play, play it and use its ability. It's quite simple, it does say on each card what they do so you don't have to memorise it. And play will keep going round until either everybody is out or there is no more cards in the middle. So, how do you win? To win? So to win a round, what happens is either every other player is out of the round and you win, getting one cube, or every card gets played, leaving each player with only what they have in their hands. And whoever has the highest card, so I have a two, this player has the princess, which is eight, and this player has a five, the eight wins as it is the highest, and they will get one cube. So if you look in the little rule book, you'll have a little chart. Um, in this version, it is on page 14, and it states, for a two player game, you need seven tokens to win. For a three player game, it's five tokens, and for a four player game, four tokens to win. So, after you have gone around this one, turn and you've gotten your one token, what you'll do is you'll take every card including the card that you put in here, put it all back into play and repeat from the beginning for a new round. Shuffle them up, discard a card and give out new cards. 
So when laying cards on the table, the way I like to do it is put them all in order, play guards on top of guards so you can see the amount that is on the table and same with others like handmade and handmade, sorry. And that and that just makes it easier for all players to be able to use their list of cards to try and determine what is still in the game and what isn't. Um, the other thing is, as you can see underneath the number here, there is five stars, and that and that indicates how many of each card is in the game. So for the guard, there is five different guards. For the prince, there is two, etc. So on. And yeah. That is how you play Love Letter. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it helped you out. If it did, make sure you like the, um, like the video, yes. And hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this on board games and all the other information you'd need. Thank you and until next time, share the love with board games.